All right, by the end of this week, we're probably going to have one more name storm, maybe a hurricane, and I could see how we have two more name storms by the time we get into the weekend. All right, now last week, you remember here in the feed where we take all of what I'm looking at and we show you the rationale for the forecast here. I want to take you into the water vapor loop here this morning because we've got twin tropical waves. This is the wave that I told you everybody would forget about. No one's forgetting about it now. This is it. Now, this is, uh, it's very poorly organized right now as it battles some drier air denoted by the yellow shading. This is number two. This is the system in the Central Atlantic. This looks, of the two, a little more impressive. Now, the question is, moving forward, what's going to happen with both of these systems? Well, I, I want to show you some of the computer models here. We're going to look at the European, the GFS model. The GF is the American model. The European, well, that's the European model here. And what I want to show you is this. Let's go to a shot here. So here is tomorrow evening. This is number one. This is number two. This is on the American model here. What does the uh, European model have? Something pretty similar here in that shows the same area. See, there it is. Number one and number two. Both of them, by the way, have not developed at the current time, At by the time we get in tomorrow. I want to go to Thursday. Let's jump ahead to Thursday. This is the American model right here. Now, the American model suggesting, well, this is number one wave. That one look is more robust. Number two wave is getting sheared out and there's not much left of it. So this is the one to track. The European model says, uh-uh, wrong, 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 opposite. See, the European showing this is number one, barely uh, uh, noticeable because the yellow shading, that's the upward motion. There's not much upward motion, not, not a lot of energy, but the, Europe, the G, European saying, look at the red here. That's the one to watch. Let's go to Friday, and you'll notice again, this is the European said, nope, wave number two is the storm. Wave number one, eh, it's still weak. The America model says, nope, this is the storm, and this one is the weak one. Welcome to forecasting. So what's the thought process? Well, I want to show you this, and I want to tell you what I think, right? So let's go, and I want to take a look at what we always look at, the wind shear with this. All right. Now, as we move forward here, remember, we've got the two waves. Let's look at the wind shear right now as we get into Wednesday. What I see is this. Here is, are the two waves. This is the European model. So wave number one is located here. Wave number two is here. You see that? Now. What does it look like moving forward here? Look at the wind shear going forward. What I see is low wind shear in here. The second wave battles wind shear in there. Let's go to Thursday. What do you see again? Again, here's the European suggesting here's the first wave, here's the second wave. What do I see as far as wind shear? I see this, that the first wave in here has, look at this, this is an outline of a high pressure system in here. This is Thursday and that system is right in here. System number two has west-southwest wind shear in here. So when I look at this, to me, I'm more worried about system number one. Could I be wrong? Well, doesn't happen much, but I can. And when you look at it, there's the wave one. I think this is the one to watch going forward here, all right? This is the one to watch because I'm not expecting much of anything through Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, it starts to organize. And then by the weekend, it's off the Florida coast. Now, would it come toward Florida and Carolina as it could? The farther north it goes, it gets into stronger wind shear, and it could be ripped apart. But this one's going to be could be close to the United States over the weekend. The second one, we have a high risk of development, but I think that's headed out to sea toward Bermuda and not for the United States. So again, of the two, I'm worried about this one as we head into the weekend just because of its location to the United States. Watch that, and that's the feed.